Hey viewers, my name is Kara. I'm your host for Tuesdays on the Pagan Perspective, and this week we're talking about necromancy. Our questioner this week has observed that there is not a lot of talk about necromancy on YouTube and was wondering what we thought about it and whether we practice any aspects of it. So when you look up necromancy just on Google, the Google definition that pops up gives you two definitions and most other definition websites that I found also make these two distinctions. Necromancy can either be used in a very general sense to refer to sorcery, witchcraft, or quote-unquote black magic, or it can be defined as either calling on the spirits of the dead or raising the dead for the purposes of seeing into the future or solving problems. A distinction is made between that and spirit communication, which is just talking to a spirit or calling on a spirit, I guess, because the definitions that I have seen, or for example on the Wikipedia page, it says that things like spiritualism become on the verge of necromancy when the spirit is specifically asked to tell about the future. So not all communications with spirits would be considered necromancy. Sure enough, if you look up necromancy on YouTube, if you do a search, there is one witchy-related necromancy video that popped up for me from The Witch's Voice a couple years ago. Everything else is pretty much Minecraft videos and other types of video games because necromancy is a very popular skill for characters in games to have. I don't believe we've ever been asked to talk about it before, so that's why we haven't yet. As for why people in the pagan community don't talk about it, well, I know I personally wouldn't really have a lot of reason to talk about it because I don't practice it. So my guess would be either that there aren't as many people practicing it, which is why they're not talking about it, or that the people who do practice it don't talk about it. And that could be because there's a lot of misunderstanding around it. Maybe people don't want to talk about it because other people don't like the idea, or... I don't know. I don't know. I'm not um, someone who does that, so I'm not really familiar with all the feelings that a necromancer may have about sharing it with the public. But my general thoughts on necromancy are that, as I've mentioned, I don't practice it. The questioner asked if we practice any aspects of it, so... I would say that, as I was mentioning with the definitions and the distinctions that are made, I do practice a little bit, little bit, of what I would call spirit communication. My mother has gone through a spirit communication course, and I have several friends who are spiritualists and mediums, so I definitely am familiar with the practice of spirit communication. However, I see that as being very different from, for example, some of the websites that you'll find if you do a Google search for necromancy. Some of the websites are talking about this very specific, very dark, the Satan's Heaven webpage talks about it being the blackest of the black arts, and it's very dangerous because you're calling on a spirit, you're summoning a spirit to come to the physical realm, and if you're not well protected, there is a chance that they could possess you or take your life force kind of thing. And that, just that whole realm is not something that I'm interested in. And to me, spirit communication or, you know, opening a pathway for communication is different than summoning a spirit to come wholly as an apparition or summoning the actual body of the deceased. To me that is a different realm and spirit communication doesn't involve having to do the very ceremonial, you know, drawing the circles to contain the spirit kind of thing because you're not bringing in the spirit, there's no need to contain it, you're just talking with them wherever they are. And to me that's similar to how I would call upon the elements when I'm casting a circle. I'm inviting them to my circle, but I'm not demanding that they be there and I'm not containing them there. Other people do practice in such a way that they call the entity, whatever it may be, whether it's the elements or the spirit or deity or whatever the case may be, some people do practice and word it in such a way that it is a command. And that's just not something that I do in my practice, and necromancy to me is that kind of thing. Like I said, I haven't practiced it. I really have no interest in going about it. There's nothing about uh, what I've read about it that makes me think I really want to get into that. So it is possible that there could be some things about it that you just don't know until you try it. I recognize that. So for those of you who do practice it, maybe you have much more to say. Not even maybe. I was going to say maybe you have more to say on the subject. But really, you definitely have more to say on the subject, it's just maybe you would like to share it. 
I don't know, yeah. I think of necromancy and things of that nature as being much more ceremonial than what I personally am into. And, you know, people think of it as something that they call black arts or black magic, and that's not something that I buy into myself anyway. Personally, those of you who have been following my videos for years probably have heard me say this before, that I don't believe in a distinction between white magic and black magic as far as what the magic is. That distinction is a way of giving a name to the intent that the practitioner has behind it. So to me, black magic would be magic that is done to harm people, magic that is negative. I don't see necromancy as being inherently negative. I think that, sure, if you're talking about, you know, the, as I mentioned, the websites that are talking about it being so dangerous and things like that, then I can see why they consider it. But as far as contacting the dead, I don't think that that in itself is negative. I can see why people associate it with darkness, but that's not necessarily the same thing. I'm not really sure what else I have to say on the topic, so rather than risk repeating myself, I will end it here. Please do share in the comments if you have anything personal to add or if you know of any good resources for people who may be interested in learning more about necromancy since there may not be a lot of it already on YouTube. If you know of some places where there are videos about it or anything like that, please direct people that way so that they may find that if they so choose. Oh, before I go, I just wanted to remind you all that in a week I will be going to Arkansas to meet up with the Pentacles of Pride International team group for a Pagan Pride event and also to speak at some local schools about tolerance and diversity and a whole bunch of cool stuff and I'm both nervous and excited and I just wanted to remind you all that that is happening next week so I will make my video ahead of time and make sure that it is posted and then I fly out next Tuesday the 21st. So you will see my face on this channel next week and until then don't forget to be awesome, blessed be, and goodbye.